friends welcome to a design team project for ASC supplies on Etsy all the links will be in the description box down below for their store and social media and etc along with all of my information because I do sell all of my crafts so if you're interested in anything um, you can contact me either directly through my email or you, usually things like this I put on Etsy and cards um, and things like that I put on eBay but I prefer to offer them here on YouTube first, and then if I don't sell them here, then I put them on one of those. So check it out. All the links for that in the description box down below as well. So this is a journal, and this is um, using a design paper from Stamperia. And I don't recall the name of it. Ugh, because I used almost all of it up. Let me see if I have it. Here it is. <coughs> um, I don't know if it has the name. Let's see, Stamperia, obviously. I don't know the name of this collection. But it is the one that had the... Uh, the baking stuff? Yeah, the baking stuff, so... <clears throat> I will, you know, check it out in the store. You can go to the store and click the Stamperia button. It'll bring up all the Stamperia papers. So I haven't created a journal in a while. So I did do this one. And I bind mine with this elastic. Um, it really holds the paper in nicely. It's got this ribbon as a closure. And this is just um, from one of the main sheets of uh, 12 by 12. I cut it out to match, to you know, fit this cover. And it is a fabric cover, but underneath the fabric is chipboard. It's a, actually a medium weight chipboard that I doubled. So basically a heavyweight chipboard. So let's go inside. So all of this... Well, I'd say 90% of this is all the paper from the collection. There's a few things I think I mixed in. So I did coffee dye all my papers, so it smells really nice of coffee. Um, this is fussy cut from the, actually the front page of the collection. And I did ink everything that was white to fit in. I did use a lot of additional little ephemera so this did not come in the collection and there's this little pull out and I didn't ink this one it fits right in the stocking like that so super cute so I just added some laces and trims um, I had one pack of these poinsettias that I kind of scattered throughout and I did some stamping twas the night before Christmas and then there's Santa a little ephemera there this opens up with a, I ha, I just recently purchased um, a D-Stash and it had the vintage Santa. And this collection has a vintage Santa. And there's another one inside. And there's this. I love this image from the collection, this little house, so much. And then on this page, um, we have this little moose. And this is a moose I picked up at, um, I'm pretty sure it was Hobby Lobby. And it was like an ornament. And I had to really take it apart so I could get two corrugated moose out of the deal. So there is one of those. And then on this ephemera, guys, I don't really know where I got it from. It's stuff that I bought last year after Christmas and um, I just mixed it in so I would have more. <clears throat> These little strips right here are leftovers from this um, um, the cover so I utilize everything. So over here we have a pullout, another vintage Santa, and some Dear Santa Claus. And this is from the collection. The wood 
uh, paper in the background is not, and I think this is not, but this is from the collection. And this little ephemera. <coughs> this pulls out. <coughs> I have these uh, burlap snowflakes. So you could put photos in here, or you could just journal in, in these little... Uh, these are actually cards, so, you know, you would make a card out of this. So you could, like I said, photos or journaling. So over here we got a side pocket. We've got this ephemera, and then this one opens like that. like that another vintage Santa this one pulls out okay then we've got the center of our signature and I did sew this one but I also did the the elastic to hold it onto the the binding. So we have one photo booklet or journaling booklet on this side, and this one says wish list with the tree, and that one opens like that. And then this one opens with another burlap um, snowflake. I love these little birds. They're so pretty. And then this one pulls out. This pulls out. And then this flips up. And this pulls out. Secret journaling. And then we've got this one, and this pulls out like that, super cute. I inked the back of that, I should have inked the front also. There's those adorable little birdies. Side pocket. And all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. And then a little secret spot to journal on in there. <clears throat> and then this pulls out. This lifts up and down. Another snowflake. So this is a one signature. Um, it's got a lot of pages for one signature. There's the other moose. And that opens up with a vintage Santa. <clears throat> And then a second to the last page, it's got the same as the inside of the front page. And then on the back, we have another little um, stocking and a pull-out place for journaling in there. And then these two journaling or one of them as a photo mat. So, yeah. I'll be anxious to hear what you guys think. I don't have a lot of journals planned. Maybe one more before Christmas. Uh, well, I have one already sitting over here made. But um, one after that. That will be for sale. So this one's got a... Let me see. About a two-inch binding so it closes really nicely 
and there's plenty of room if you need it to expand it can expand so let me know what you think and i'll be back with another one real soon thanks for watching happy scrappy day bye guys